<clears throat> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the cutest Ataris. Yes, Hello, cute, cute Atari. Atari. Hi, and sir. Tanya's as well. Yay. At least one of them. <clears throat> one. One, uh, one Tanya. Tanya. That's the maximum allowed in here. In this room. But many Ataris. Many Ataris. Yes. yes. Look at them all. <laughs> including this cute one. Oh yes. Today we are going to be playing Atari Lynx games. Yay! Like this Atari Lynx. A bunch yes. of them that have been put out recently. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh! Oops. So excited. Atari's so excited. Put that over here. <laughs> oh, we've got the Lynx all plugged in. We're going to be playing Fury. Paranoid, Bubbler, and Paratroops. Ooh. Paratroopers. Uh, four games today. Yay! Um, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. 8-Bit Pod, Alan the Furry, Andre, Atari, Atari, mm -hmm. Dunder, Dex, Elrus, Tarnid, 74, Atari, Atari, Maximus, Pierre Pocock, Bruno Stex, Captain Classic, Cal Mel, Charles Willen, Shitla, Sierra Naribo, Dian Noy, Danny C, Dr. Mookhouse, Dr. Webster, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Araldo Raju, uh, Johnny WC, Caputo Coder, Carl G, Carrick Hack, Croc, 2600 Cavalt for Land of Express, Mad Max, Mandy Sippin' T, Mark Hannes, Mark Space, and Mike Mew, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Cattell, Mem Caseman, Mr. Fix, Nathan Storm, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Coog, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Revan Tooley, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, 1970, Just Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Down, KT, Foes, Track MD, Tweeny, Vexor X, VG Double Down, and Zombie. Woo! Alice. Thank you for Thank supporting you, the show. Um, and if you want to, does Flying Fury lead to Rage Reset? It might. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it's rage inducing. Yeah. Um, if you want to support the show, just click subscribe or you can just follow and hit a little alert you when we're playing games. Um, so we went down to uh, Seattle. Yes, we did. This past weekend. It That's why nice. there's no Friday show. Nope. We went to a five day music festival. Yes, yeah, so we only attended three. Yes. <laughs> Five days is but a lot. It is a lot. Three days is a lot. <laughs> Three days, yes. Destroyed my feet. Mine too. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of um, standing and dancing yes. and watching bands. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, like 6 to 2 a.m., about 6 to 1 a.m. every night. About that. About that, yeah. Yep. Yep. 6 to 1 a.m. Um, so I'll show you what festival we went to. Uh, there it is. Uh, Mechanismus. Yay. Yeah. I didn't know the pronunciation. Mechanismus? Mechanismus? No. Nope. I, I, Mechanismus. I've been saying Every mechanismus. band say, said Mechanismus. Mechanismus? Yeah. Mechanic. Mechanis. Mechanismus. Like mechanical. Mechanis? Mechanical. They That's need how they were pronouncing an it. An easier to pronounce name is it, all I'm going to say. It's, <laughs> yes. Me mechanismus. Mechanismus. So it was like harder electronic, um, industrial, if you know that. Yep. Um, some very big names yes. in the scene. Uh, Assemblage 23, Funker, Vought, How Job, ESA, Covenant, oh, yeah. Weatherstrip, Combi Christ, Ivarden Sphere, God Module, Unter Null, Psy Lab. It was excellent. Many others. Oh, so good. It was excellent. Yeah. And some, was... some bands I've never heard of. I mean, you were, you're more... Um, I listen to a lot of these bands. In, in industrial bands than yeah. I am, but uh, some really good ones. I Varden Sphere in particular oh was excellent. So good live. I've, um and uh yeah. Lots I've were not some... seen live before. Yeah, yeah exactly. The only so, ones I've seen live good. before Assemblage twenty three and Covenant. Mm. Oh Chitla La is fan of some Yay. of those bands. Excellent. It's a very awesome um festival. Mm. Five days, multiple venues. Yes. Nice intimate venues not huge not so huge. you're not on in a couple field hundred with like ten hundred thousand people a couple hundred people no, I would say. Not, maybe I'm, up to 200 maybe a thousand i don't know no you don't no. think so no 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 a few hundred then yeah a few it was hundred. like six deep by 20 wide it's 10 maybe. 10 deep i don't know <laughs> it's hard it's so hard know. to tell it's very hard to we tell. didn't count but it was big and it, it was, was it was yep. sold out um, from what yes. you were saying, yeah, every and, night sold uh, out. It was it was a lot of fun, and I did like the fact that it was only in the evening. It wasn't yes. all day because that would have been too much. My God! Um, yeah. And we got to look around Seattle for a little while, so that was yeah, nice hang around Seattle. Yeah. 
Um, so we went to, you know, a bunch of stores in Seattle, a bunch of little walks here and there, yeah, found restaurants. some very expensive restaurants, which every is restaurant killing me every time we go, we, we go anywhere down south. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It, it's, I mean, it's murderous. A $20 the, the, meal the is $20 there. You which get, is not fair. <laughs> But it's not twenty dollars Canadian. Twenty dollars there is U.S. money. Yeah. And the exchange rate is terrible is now terrible. for Canadian. So you add forty percent to that. Oh my God. It's too much. The pain. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Ugh. It hurts. But yeah. While we're down there, but we, we went, had fun. Yep. Yeah. We, we just, went to um, a couple of yes. Um, vintage. What do you call them? vintage thrift stores? Vintage slash thrift slash hand antique stores yes yeah um we went to one that was near in fremont pier. yeah um that that was cool they had a bunch of stuff <laughs> nostalgic hearing seattle described as down south <laughs> yeah that's yeah north it's to almost everyone <laughs> everything's down south, south to a canadian yeah. unless you live in southern ontario then some are north true yep true uh but yeah everything's south everything's down south unless we go to alaska I guess. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> if we go ever go to Anchorage, we'll be saying up north to the U.S. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but we went to one in Fremont. It was Fremont area. Um, yeah. Very eclectic. It was uh, really cool. It thrift, was huge. Not a thrift store. It was vintage. It was they called it vintage. Vintage. They had other people's stuff. Uh, in they were yeah. cabinets for display. In that sense, it's more like an antique store yeah. where you're where they're reselling other people, reselling things for other people. But then yeah. there was tons of vintage clothing and then there was there was quite a bit um of like local um new items like e uh, earrings and and they were they did sell okay. some non-vintage items too okay it was massive. i didn't look at the earrings and they know. had tons of records and oh it was my God. Very cds cool. records movies yeah. uh posters cool. old stuff but out of the corner of my eye. Yes. James has, has an eye for finding things. <laughs> Laser focused. Yes. On anything electronic. You always look for yeah. electronic things. And yeah. sometimes they're in boxes. And this one was in a box. Um, so what I found is this gorgeous, gorgeous mint box for the very first ever handheld game system with interchangeable cartridges, Ooh. the Microvision. Nice. It is immaculate. The this box, box looks brilliant. It's immaculate. Yeah. Oh my God. And the system is just as immaculate. Look at, look at this manual. <laughs> it looks brand new. It looks blockbuster. Uh, you know the answer to that, ITC. ITC. <laughs> <laughs> it is a handheld from 1979. Uh, the condition is perfect, except the, yeah. for the screen, of yeah. course. <laughs> Hola, uh, Mitoko. Most of them have screen rot. I would probably say almost all of them have screen rot. Yeah. Um, there is a person on Atari Age that does sell replacement screens. Gotcha. So I will be, it does, it, it does, it looks brand new. It looks new. like no one's ever used it. <laughs> it's cut the foam in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, 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 look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's super gorgeous. I was, um, so when I first saw it, the price was, uh, cause I have to take into consideration the exchange the, the, the Canadian exchange, right? Um, I'm not going to say the price, but, um, Nine volts, yes, it yep. runs on nine two. Volt, uh, one nine volt. One is the later model. And later that, model, yeah. That runs on one nine volt. Yeah. Um. So I saw the price. I was like, <clears throat> ah, duh, I can't do that. I just can't bring myself to pay that much for it. I mean, I was never really looking for it. No, no. Sometimes when you I just saw, come find, across it. When I find something that looked that good, yeah. in the box, you know, it's been taken care of. Yeah. And I opened it up, and it was really taken care of. Yeah. So I also saw this as well pretty much star right trek next to it. phaser strike yeah very close to it so what you do is you bundle things and you <laughs> go for a lower price because you know they're selling they get to sell more stuff so at first i brought it up to the counter and the person and i said hey would you take blah for it and he's like well it's not ours 
Mm. And so we can't negotiate. And it may take 24 hours to get back to yeah. you from the person. We have to contact the person. They have to get back to us. And then we have to get back to you. Yeah. And I went, uh, it's, it's okay. Never mind. Because we're only, because we were, it was the day before we were the leaving. morning we were leaving. So yeah. I'm like, they'll never get back to us. So yeah. what's the point? Yeah. Went out. Had some ice cream, yeah. molded thought over, it, thought it, thought it obsessed over it, over about ice cream. it, yeah. obsessed about it. I went back to the store. <laughs> I went, can you write my name down and phone number, please? <laughs> and so yeah, I, I gave that. them the price. They wrote down my name and phone number. Yeah. And um, within what? An hour. An hour. Like we we had turned around and went back to our hotel. And by the time we got back to the hotel... He, he, they messaged you back from the store. Text me and they said, yep, they took the offer. Yeah. Like no negotiations, just took the offer. Because who knows how long it was sitting there for. Yeah. It's quite obscure. Somebody might look at it and go, oh, some weird looking handheld. Oh, that looks old. Yeah. That's that's not a Game Boy. (laughs) Right? Yeah. Just uh, the precursor to a Game Boy, but anyway, yes, yes, Game Boy was apparently inspired, inspired by, by that. Inspired by it, yeah, yeah. yeah we um, reading about that. Yeah. So both cartridges work. Um, you can kind of play them a bit, like you can kind of see it, the re- screen rot isn't terrible, but it's there. It's there yeah. enough that you can't properly play it. Like you can see the score and some of the stuff on the screen, but the game that comes with the system, the <laughs> yeah. um, Blockbuster. Do you want to show the, the game? Oh, uh, no. No? Okay. No. You can't really see it anyway. <laughs> oh, there's no name on it or anything like that? Oh, I, I showed it with... Yeah. I, it, it was already but there. But it says Phaser Strike on oh, it. I mean, how pretty is that? Look at that purple. Stri- I approve. It's also approve. in perfect condition. It like, is. They look so nice. Literally perfect condition. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Anyway, James got very excited. Uh, yes. And uh, you know, it I, made the weekend. Um, out, the festival better. was great, but the, it made the weekend even better. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Yeah. Uh, must be some Chinese Game Boy knockoff. Probably are thinking that. Mm-hmm. ITC says mine only needs one battery, but is a spot for the second that doesn't mm-hmm. have contacts. That's the same as mine. Same with this one. It's a, um, I was, we were reading about it yeah. on the drive home. Yeah. And they, all they did is take the contacts out. They use the same mold. For me, went, the first version of it, yeah. And they and they labeled it spare battery holder. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, hey, and why not? Because and it actually came with two batteries. Because they changed the chip, and I was reading about it. They Oh, that's interesting. The chip changed, and I'm sorry, I don't know chip names. Mm. I'm I, I do not have the the um, knowledge of, of I'm not the rest of the group. Overly here. familiar but, with these chips. Uh, either, the but. chip it originally used was I guess a little bit more powerful. Yeah. Um but consumed more but power. But consumed more power. And they ended up switching the chip between the first and second version. And it actually consumed less power. So uh, instead of taking out the second battery, they used the same mold, but then just took out the connector. Yep. So they could run it with just one 9-volt yeah. instead yeah. of uh, two. But so. the results of changing the chip, yeah. they had to reprogram all the games. Yes. Which is crazy. Yeah, because they wouldn't work. They wouldn't work with the new chip. They had to, yeah, reprogram some aspect of which it. makes me believe that there's two different. Well, that doesn't make sense, does it? Because it's on the games? cartridge. It's not on the. Oh yeah, that's right. So the chip is on the cartridge. So you don't. There are two versions that's of the right. games. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because the chip is on the cartridge. On the cartridge. There's no chip to run the games in the handheld itself. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the screen is in the handheld hand um, handheld system and the power is The power is, is in the handheld. So yeah. They, yeah, they took it out. Anyway, very interesting. Yeah. yeah thank you, Wikipedia, for... <laughs> oh, mine was basically totally dead, ITC says. Could ah. occasionally hear and see nothing from it, but after replacing the screen, replacing the screen and cleaning up a bit, it works now. Took some fiddling to get the new screen aligned enough to work right. Yeah, I was watching some repair videos and the screen basically just sits on it. Yeah. You have to align it perfectly so the... <clears throat> It's like, a, I'm not sure the tech, um, terminology of ITC would know. It's like, just contacts it. Oh, like yeah. It, there's no screwing it down. I think the lid holds it acro- uh, against it. Um, so, yeah. Z- zebra strip for contact, yeah. Uh. Um, but you don't screw it down. You don't, you know, solder it down or anything. It just sits there. And then you put the, the plastic on top of it. And it holds it against. So yeah. the contacts are... Or, or holding it, up like pressure it. contacts wow. or something called that. So it's more multiple handhelds with a common base. Exactly. But all the controls are on the system as well. 
Yeah, it's so interesting how they decided to put that together. It's kind um, of like how they did, they put the pokey chips in the 27800 games. Yeah. Where the pokey chip wasn't on the 7800. So it's in the they game. They put it in the game. Yeah. And, you know, some systems work like that too. Some uh, NES games put extra chips on the cartridge. And we were reading that there were 12 games made. Yes. That particular Star Trek, Phaser oh, Strike, yeah, yeah, yeah. came out for... The first Star Trek the movie. The first Star Trek movie. They only had the license to call it Star Trek for one year. <laughs> so subsequent games were called something else. Like just Phaser just Strike. Just Phaser Strike. So you actually do have the one that would have been released the first in the first release, year. first release, I guess, yeah. In, in, in 1979? 79. Yeah. It looks fantastic. Look at that box. Yeah. It, like, it's, literally sat on someone's shelf for years. Yeah, somebody plugged it, turned it on, and went, ah, stupid game. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then put it back on their shelf. Yeah, no kidding. So, um, yeah, it's very cool. They did tape the price to the box. Oh, the, uh, James, oh, yeah, James, yeah, that was one of two cringy moments. Um, when you luckily, they didn't up. pull off the tape at the store. They yeah. cut off the price. I saw the woman who did it, who came over so and I'm cut it off, for that. and you were like... <laughs> but I had to slowly peel off the tape and it didn't do any damage. There you go. And also when she put the box on the counter, she scraped it along the counter to <laughs> ring it up. It's like, oh my God. It was a glass countertop. Yeah. And I could see James go, <laughs> like, what oh are you God. doing? Why are you pulling this across the counter? Oh, that's so bad. What a nightmare. Anyway, it's still, it's still fine. It's still fine. It's all fine. <laughs> You think they'd change the vo You think they'd have voltage regulation in, in the base part? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it must contact go directly to the cartridge, and then come out of the cartridge. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the new ones. Work. They must have voltage regulation. I think they just. I mean, something goes off to the screen independently of going off to the cartridge. Yeah. Or it goes to the cartridge and then comes <clears throat> back out of the cartridge again it's for the screen. It's very interesting to me that they took out a battery. Because you could use the old cartridges with the new base. Yeah. So that would, that would have a chip that would require more power and would drain the battery more quickly. So... There's something weird about that. Like something just doesn't quite make sense. But yeah, and and also it, it, they're prone That's to what was strange. it electrostatic discharge discharge and maybe the double yeah. batteries were uh, I don't know that Help wouldn't that affect out. anything. I, I don't no know. Idea. Anyway, it's very strange. And at at that point, you need a hazmat suit to handle the box. Yeah. <laughs> yes, white well, yeah. gloves, white yeah. gloves. Yeah, you have yeah. to be very careful and not to leave the screen in the sun. Because that apparently mm. destroys the screen as well. Like instantly. Yeah. I was reading Oof. somewhere. Like, oh, it's it, it could go completely dark in the sun if you leave it out in the sun. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, boy. It even has a, a warning in the manual, too. Yeah. So, sensitive. Very, yeah. Sen very sensitive. Very interesting. Uh, but let's get to the games. Uh, the first game is Fury by Breck Martin. Um, this build i believe is from today Ooh, i believe very nice unless i'm mistaken July 2nd. let me just uh let me just double check that no 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 it is from june 6th mm. i think it's the other game that's from uh today um 46k game uh he's made two games we're going to be playing both of them today nice. fury and paranoid um and you can download them in the atari age forums and uh so i have some um sketches that he sent me that aren't posted in the atari age forums we'll okay. take a look at that after we play the game for okay. a bit because okay. they may not make sense until you until actually you see, see the gameplay okay. what they actually are you yeah. would be looking at and going what is this um, so let's um, load up the game. Uh, there you go. And I'll switch over so everyone else can see it. Second button. Get the volume. Fury, yeah. And again. I find you have to push and hold a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna I'm just move screen. this over a little bit. Too just loud? one second. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I turned it down. Okay. I saw that it was like it just destroying people's yeah. ears. <laughs> Let's get this more centered. I was fiddling around with the colors. It's not perfect yet, but um, 
it's much better. Let's just save that to the links. Okay. So it is, uh, it's from Australia. Nice. Um, and it draws around uh, uh, the, the continent the, there. The, yeah, the coast there. And I'm nice. guessing that flashing dot is uh, where he lives in Sydney ish Sydney? area. Sydney? That's around I where Sydney, Sydney is. Sydney was further south. Uh, no, that's oh. Melbourne, which is further very, south. very south. Okay. But may, maybe so Sydney is, is, is fairly south. Australia, but there you go. Um, and it shows the date on the screen with a little uh, thing. Isn't Very that from nice. uh, the Amiga? I think the that, date? that symbol. Mm. And there's his email address if you want to email. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, start up the game. It's a shooter. Just shoot everything. Hold it down for auto fire. Avoid those Avoid orange them? things. They're bad. Avoid everything. Oh, uh, there, there are power-ups. Okay, there well, are power -ups. then you don't avoid everything. Not everything. I'm not sure what the power-ups look like yet, just yet. Because I haven't played that far. Ah! Run right into them. Avoid. When it gets close, you can go forward and back oh. as well. Good. <clears throat> so, let me get some reading material. It is from the Amiga Boot Screen. Uh, I am correct. That is a power-up. I oh. think, maybe? Maybe. It looks different than their bullets. It does. And it doesn't have the number of lives on the screen. I think that would be a, a helpful thing to add. Yeah. How many lives in the do you top have? Three? Uh, there's three and f five, depending on which button you press to start. Yeah. Ah. Oh, run into it. Right into it. Remember, don't run away from it. Run around it. Yeah. Do not be a cartoon character. I, I do do that a lot. Just gotta move this. The new power supply for your laptop came. So I'm watching you, cat, Atari cat. Oh, <laughs> so Oh, did not... it, are, you, are we using it? Yes, because the oh, other good. one was just atrocious. Oh, it was chewed. Terrible. Chewed to bits, cat. Ah! Um, do, 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 do. Fury ah! one. Uh, oh, yep. So we, ah! we passed Fury. I think you're in Fury three. You're in the third ah! stage. Oh, oh my goodness, I, that felt... You're a stinking, smug <laughs> mouth breather. Okay, okay, I get it. Um, I, that looked like a boss. Oh, it reversed yes. course, and then I, I had to hit him, and he took multiple hits. I think uh, he is a boss. Yeah. Uh, so this is part one. Okay, part one. Uh, flight plot of the first... Uh, oh, sorry. No, that's not what I want to read. <laughs> um, Hello, Atari. Hi, kitten. About the uh, insult compliment generator, the insult generator has twice the vocabulary because it's likely to occur more. So it insults you twice as much as it uh, compliments you. Ah, you, don't get a d you don't get a decent insult nice. without at least trying in the game. If the score is too low, the insults are similar and boring. Oh, oh, you got a power up. Nice. Did, finally. So Nostalgic has a pro tip. Avoid pro tip. hitting bullets for high scores. <laughs> You nostalgic. I think she's doing better this time. I she's am, taking your you uh, gotta, advice yeah, into consideration. Yeah, I, I always take nostalgic advice. Yep. I don't know where I'd be without it. <laughs> Super helpful. <laughs> Super Very helpful. helpful. Um, the bosses are called SOBs, sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it boss time? It'll reverse course. You missed that. Entirely. Oh. Oh my goodness, you're going backwards. You're running away from the boss. So he's got bullets, and there's also like... Whoa! Yeah, stay in the center if you can, I guess, to be able to... I'm like so close to you. Wow. Hey, hey, Tari, you'll get treats. Somebody will give you treats. Calm, calm, calm your fur. Ah. They're really protecting him because... Ah, oh, is no. that your first death? Oh no, pea shooter. Back to the pea shooter. Oh, oh, it's getting darker. Yeah, I'm I'm making some headway. He does shoot though. Oh, oh second see, death. It's it's terrible. Ah, there it's we gone. go. Nice. Whoa, whoa, careful. First boss defeated. Nice. Bernie your treats, Vitoko says. <laughs> that is his threat. Yeah. He holds Poor Bernie hostage. Bernie. Yeah, oh. he. First level again. It's, they're faster, it seems, or more of them. I can't tell. 
They, I think they're fast. Ah, don't, nothing. don't. You don't have to shoot them. They're getting yes, too close. Yes, Avoid. you do. They must all die. All of them. All of them. All must die. Do not leave one alive. <laughs> Whoa! Taking big risks. How's the game? Good. It's fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree, Dan. It does look good. Uh, uh, whoa! Uh, oh, they that just is... appeared out of nowhere. Get it! Get it! Nice. Oh, this is. Oh, they uh, warp in. Yeah, they this... do. I don't like that. This is a little different. It than is a the little different. Time. It's the okay. same, but they they same appear enemies. differently. You don't want to be right in front of them. No, no, no. Oh, they appearing from the same spot, kind of. Ah. Oh, um, there's a little X where they appear. Hey, hey, hey! It's you like... can't dig through the shelf. You're such a naughty cat. Did you see the X that appears? Bur the X appears X. where they. Yes, they warp in where the X oh, is. No. It's the boss it's time. It's gonna be hard, and I don't have a power up. I think the power up's only on that stage. It is. Oh, different color. Oh, these oh, are warping in now. There's no boss. Ah! Whoa! And they shoot off the screen. At you. Whoa. Ah! Good. That was good. That was good. You're an impotent, smug mouth breather. <laughs> so let's take a look nice. at the graphics that were sent to me, or the plans that were sent to me. Bernie and treats. <laughs> Bernie and treats. I want it all. Yeah. Oh, kid. So this, uh, he said, was. Um, Flight plot of the first end of level boss, which I call SOB, sons of bitches, due to the production of these lookup tables. Mm. So there's the pattern of the end boss. Oh, okay. The, um, and end level boss. Um, Interesting. So it goes at two times the speed on the top uh, flat mm. part mm. and two question mark speed going backwards. And hey, zombie Alice. And let's go to the next one. Small part of where the power-up makes a loop. Mm. So this is the loop for the power-up. Comes in there, goes up and around. So if you're there, that's your best chance to get it. Is that the makes lower. sense, because he comes back around and hits yeah. the same spot. Interesting. Mm -hmm. These are like pro tips here. Yep. Complete power-up plot. Oh, what? Was it upside down? No, nope, it's just part of it. Ah. Um, mm -hmm. The final SOB. All of these plots are vertically mirrored by software also, so the complete path is happening twice. Mm. But the second time is vertically mirrored. Oh. And the final SOB plot with the outline tools. <laughs> so ultimate's nice. uh, single protein chicken. Uh, cat food. There <laughs> you go. There is a cat in the house. Yes. Oh. Uh, Atari. And here is Australia. He says, not sprites, line drawn. Mm. So, do, 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 dot by dot. Wow. That's a pretty good map of Australia. Mm. Um, where is it? And um, that's also not sprites. That's line drawn. And this one is says, the pair of SOBs together on screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, it gets harder. Two of them. Again, the path is longer because a complete circuit includes a vertically flipped version as well. Uh, one of the pair is horizontally offset forward. So it would be that one. And the second one is forward a bit of that, but they're doing the same plot. Also following the plot halfway behind. So one starts and then the other one it starts. Goes, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Also that fun to see graph cool. paper and unorthodox tools. Yes. I use graph paper to plan paper. Um, my games too. Yeah. They're really Hi. useful because they're, I mean, they're square pixels, but they're close enough to kind of work out. And if you're really, um, really precise, you would use um, 0.9 to 1 ratio for mm. CRT looks. Okay. Now it's my turn. Let's see how I can do. It's nice bit of insight to see how uh, they develop the games the, are made and yeah, peek behind the scenes. Oh, it just starts. What? It, it starts right oh away. Oh my god. I, 
What? Yeah, once you click away, because it, it, it played a whole game in the background. Oh, And, and uh, the insults were different. Oh, Because you died after 13, a and score of 13. <laughs> how did I get, you know, by crashing into them, I guess? Uh, yeah, it, they eventually <laughs> crash into you, because you I got don't some move. score by yeah. not moving. Yeah. That yeah. is funny. Yeah, it's funny, funny, funny. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you're cute. We'll do some treat balls later, okay? Yeah. Oh, the power. yeah, the power-up's awesome. Give me the power. Um, I have not made it to where I've kept the power-up through... Through the boss? To the second level, so I'm curious mm. if you get another power-up, if it gets better Ooh. or it just stays the same. Ooh. It might just stay the same. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty cool. I like... I really do enjoy the movement of these... Um, yeah, good the patterns. Ship. Hopefully you'll get through more levels than me and you'll see how maybe their movement changes. You didn't get to the second boss, did you? I, I think you were it just before the second boss. but then I never saw an actual... What did they, what did they call them? SOB. Yeah, SOB. The Toko. Oh, a flashback. I recalled when I draw by, uh, drew by hand a dittered <gasps> version oh, of a Jesus. poster of some model. Those were huge pixels. <laughs> I died instantly. Did you? Because I was in the wrong spot. Yeah, was... you have to kind of figure out the best positionings. Because they do follow very distinct patterns, so. Yeah, those. It just takes a second. Those fireballs just landed on top of me because I was a bit forward. So. Oh, you got him. You're still. You're died. okay. You're okay. It's the third death. Third death. Well, it's Terrible. your first round. Yeah. That's first true. rounds are never great. No, because you second don't know rounds are your on. best round, and then you never you live down, up to the second round. Then you go downhill from there. Exactly. Exactly. You get a bit of beginner's. Oh, see, I'm getting too close. Yeah. Bit of getting beginner's luck on your first one. Then you get. Oh. Pathetic, silly twit. Oh, <laughs> oh how no. Dare you. It was yeah, me. Are. It was Atari set. Second round are much faster. Oh, yeah. Once you restart the game, oh, you can yeah. really tell. Um, so, back to the microvision. Oh, okay. Uh, There's more to tell? There is more to tell. Okay. Well, you were looking up to see if there were homebrew on them. Oh, yes. And uh, there was. There were 12 games released. Yep. The 13th game, which was called Barrage, yes. was never released. And yep. you were looking up, and I think we found it was in the Atari Age forums. Yeah, somebody made one. Someone made one. that 13th <laughs> game yep. and actually made a did they make a cartridge they made a cartridge for themselves for themselves <laughs> so it's not for sale yet i think no. they're still working on the are they still plastic molding but how cool is that <laughs> oh my god it's so, so cool, cool that they are releasing the unreleased game yeah um there's also a tetris made for it yes um, yes homebrew and also a uh flappy bird homebrew that's so cool and it looks really good is Both it of just them through work. emulation though or uh, I think they made actual carts of them. Carts, but okay. not not for not for sale, not for mass yeah. consumption. I hope they get to that point, or make a multi cart, mm. which would be good. I don't think auto fire is an option. James is just holding the button down. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you can not hold it down and just don't don't be very specific. Do not. Yeah. Do not kill me. No, no. Come on, go dark. Oof. Triple fire is much, much nicer. Oh, it's so good, but you can't oh, lose it. No. Oh, he's 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 darkened. He's, dark. he's, he's no getting also, near the end. Me. Remember, the red guys don't disappear just because you kill them. So they start coming towards you. There you go. Oh. Now they come towards you. Oh. oh, nice. Okay, let's try and get the second power up and see if there is um, an improvement, or an it might stay the same, or maybe there isn't a power up. Who knows? But. Yeah, it may Hi. not be a power-up. Maybe Hi. just like one of those games where you get one power-up and it just doesn't appear. Oh, God. If uh, you already have one. Or just layers on top and you just yeah. don't get a better shot. Ooh. I think the levels are longer, too. Gamma Dev says, since the cart is the brains, you can make a pie Pico that could do anything, including Doom. <laughs> Ah. That's true. It Ooh, is a you could. 16 by 16 pixel screen. Yeah, that's a little rough. Doom, Doom <laughs> that's would a be... rough version. There it is. Nope. No. Nope. Didn't uh, speed Doom... up or anything? No. Oh, you probably got points for it, though. Yeah. Doom would be uh, very tough to see what's going on. I don't think you could do that um, with any legibility. That's funny. So you have How to really... 
just passed. Oh the point no! Of well, you got two, up. so you should have you should have had one reserve. Another a, a power up in reserve anyway. Yeah, but I got a whole new ship. That's why. It didn't transfer the power up over. Yeah. The token says, hey, hey, compared to the stars at the background, the enemy's bullets are flying forward, but slower than you. Oh, yeah. Jesus. No, no, faster. <laughs> no. <laughs> now <laughs> slower. Wow. Yeah. I love I love the hyperdrive uh, stars yeah. in the background or whatever stars you want to call that. The They're only flying in the top, by. though, which yeah. is kind of weird. Speaking of, we've been continuing to watch The Mandalorian, which has been pretty good, I think. Eh, eh, not and, as good as the first season, but... Well, uh, we've only seen two episodes yeah. in the second season, but... I'm still waiting to hear what the little baby Yoda is called, even though I know because I've looked it up on Wikipedia. But I we haven't hit the one yet where they actually give the baby a name, so... No, I don't know, not, why. Ah! I don't know why I'm so excited about that, it's but about I about the name? Yeah. Where he finds out the name? Well, obviously, I think he has to get back to his peoples. First, or something or yeah. something or somebody knows this little baby yeah because he's how old 500 years old or 50. something 50 i think he's okay. technically a toddler though okay so boss anyway, time it's very with cute. my pea shooter i'm gonna hang back uh, when you got the second power up your ship turned green for a bit oh, oh it didn't do anything oh gamma Dev smells a challenge with the pie pico yeah yeah <laughs> uh. oh no oh this is very different <gasps> this is like the first minions is combined this with double bosses. Double bosses. Oh my goodness. Remember I was saying their patterns yes. are a bit behind each other? Oh, you got one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh no, the stars are in the bottom now. They're only in the top for a little bit. Yay! Okay, get out of here. Okay, third round. Third wave. Uh, third grouping? Third planet? Oh! 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 Stars oh please! Oh, thank oh it's, it's almost like the first and the boss came at the same time. Interesting. Oh, yeah. these are harder. I do love the patterns, though. They're so they appear so close to you. You haven't seen the Clone Wars, right? So how you no. find out his name might not make sense. Oh. Okay. Uh, is that the cartoon Gamma Dev, the Clone Wars? I think so. I think so. I have not. Are you talking about the movie, the Clone Wars, but doesn't have that character in it? <clears throat> I think it's the cartoon, right? I don't know. No, we haven't seen everything. No, we're we're not that interested in everything. Just the good stuff. <laughs> Just the good stuff. <laughs> Luckily, uh, Mandalorian is like kind of standalone. You could watch it without knowing anything about Star well, Wars. It feels like it's going back to the space western roots. Which is great. Which is is really good. So. Or samurai. Um, samurai space western. Yeah. Space western. Space. I think. Oh! oh, space samurai. You're a sorry lazy jerk. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna see the insult of um, just dying without. Yeah, you get one point. How did I get thirteen? I don't know. Six. Nice try, Airhead. <laughs> very cool. That is very cool. The animated series, yeah. Okay. I have not seen that one. Yeah, I've heard. I've, I've heard from many people the Clone, Clone Wars is very well done. Oh, okay. Like highly recommended by yeah. people. It's really a high up there as far as uh, good writing. Uh, excellent shooter. I like it. Did you like that? Did you like Fury? It was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up for me. Uh, anybody want to feed Atari? I have updated all the things. If you want to do treat time. Oh. Puss and bats. Anyone? He's staring at me. Anyone? He's waiting. With He's you. waiting. Potty time for oh, catnip oh. works too. Woo, catnip. Catnip. This is priming him. Nostalgic. Priming. Nostalgic priming the cat for low scores. <laughs> so I think that's how it works with the catnip. Yeah. Gets a little bit lower scores. Pseudo graphics. The Star Wars has has never caught my interest. I've only ever seen the original trilogy, and I don't even remember much of it. <laughs> yeah, come out a long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. in a galaxy far away. I saw little bits of it because I was quite young when it came out, and then um, and then years later, when we had our Columbia House subscription. We ended up buying the three VHS versions, and then right. I kind of really watched it later in life mm. of the original trilogy. So. Like the anniversary ones, VHS no. ones, the triple pack. No, they no? were they were Columbia House oh. releases <laughs> oh, of the Star Wars. They started with no ads at the beginning. 
Oh, that's refreshing. It literally, you put the VHS tape. I know this ages me. Chitler has never the seen VHS any tape. Star Wars movies. Wow. wow. That's rare. Yeah. You put the VHS tape in the VHS mach machine and the scroll started. Really? Like yeah. nothing else? Yeah. Just the scroll. Wow. I, I, that that to me is just, yeah, I, I that was, it, it. I don't know. It was a very early version of it. So Columbia House is a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> oh, Columbia House. <laughs> we have so many. We had so many VHS tapes from Columbia House. I think House. I signed up for them for tapes. Yeah. And then canceled, and they they were actually a good deal. Well, you you the had to buy was ten. A little bit lower. You had to buy ten, and then you could cancel it. Ten, and s ten, uh, ten, ten, and then they later had them with DVDs and stuff too. Yeah. But what I remember is you signed up, you got a few at a discount, but you had to buy ten total, and then you could cancel right. it. So we bought ten, and I know that we got the three Star Wars. And it was a good deal over was good over deal. getting them yeah. in the uh, store. And I'm pretty sure my my parents, well, they might still have them somewhere. I have no idea. <laughs> well, I, they a might while have back I remember it, seeing them. Yeah. Maybe you have... Uh, did they do video games for a little while? Yeah, maybe. They, I think they did. They, they were the, the pre-Steam for video games? I don't know. Um, so let's, there's this next game is actually a port of a Sony PSP homebrew called Paranoid. Okay. And it's called Paranoid for the Lynx as well. Mm. Um, so let's just take a look at, there's a happy roly cat. Oh, roly poly cat. Yeah. You can see him in the, in the corner there. Let's take a quick look at. Paranoid for the Sony PSP. And it says it's inspired by Mega Ball for the Amiga. So, hmm. Wobbly ball, falling bricks, extra ball. I think it's, this stuff is a little different in the game we're going to play. Oh, Arkanoid? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's. It's a Arcanoid form esque. of Arkanoid ask, yeah, Arcanoid because it's called Powernoid. Right? Gotcha. Vroom. Vroom. So, there you go. <laughs> it's Arkanoid, but Arcanoid. I wanted to just to show a little bit of, of where it came from. Pitogo, there's some catnip on your foot. Oh no, it's a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, there grassy. You go. Grassy tattoo. Grassy tattoo. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so let's uh, get into the game. Let me change the cartridge label. There we go. Okay. Load it up, please. So, Paranoid 2024. At the title screen, press A to launch a new ball. Oh, look at so, that. Paranoid by a falling brick martin mm -hmm. <laughs> press pause to mount eprom so for scores i'm guessing sony psp 2009 apple iphone 2012. there you so, go um sure. sure let's mount the eprom mount mount the eprom <laughs> where's pause i don't know where pause is None of these are labeled pause. Oh, well, we're not mounting any problems. There you go. <laughs> um, Can I start? Without this prompt from each user session, eprom will never be activated. Press B during the gameplay to pause it or any action button to resume. Yep, go for it. Oh. So you now know pause. I think it's up to launch. Yeah, yeah, it was in the button. And those are teleporters. Oh. They teleport from one to the other, which is kind of cool. Oh my goodness. Oh. Um, player gets five balls for a new game and remaining balls are displayed in the pause screen. Uh, the game has several pinball-like gimmicks, including multi-ball. Performs reasonably well with Linux emulators and EEPROM save is tested with Felix. Uh, level one is the teleporter, which we're on. Level two is the spin wheel uh, pop bumper. Ah! Oh, gotta watch for that teleporter and move over. Oh my gosh, it moves a little slow. 
Okay, let's try that again. Not that, uh, ugh. Well, it shows the balls on the screen. It's a pity that the rotary, uh, Lynx does not have a rotary controller built in. That is true. There is a rotary controller on the micro I know, it's very cool. It has a paddle on it, yeah. as well as nine, 12 buttons. Um, Something like that. Do Was many it? of the games use utilize the paddle? Did you look that yeah, up? Yeah, both of the. Um, oh well, the one that comes with it. It went right through. It went uh -oh. right through. Uh, the one that comes with it uses the paddle control. Okay. Um, I don't think the Star Trek does because you fire from oh, three gosh. different positions at things. Ah. God, I, I would go to the middle every time. Because then you're ready for either side, if it's going to the teleporter. Nice. Oh, the red ball goes through smashes. everything. Oh. You're not. You're staying way far on the right. God, gotta be ready for it. And I think once you go through the teleporter, it turns red. When you go through the teleporter again, it changes from red back. No, it doesn't. It stays. I red. saw it. I saw no, it go back. No, it, I went through <laughs> twice and it didn't change. But I did see it go back. What is this? Does it destroy it? Uh, spin wheel Ugh. pop bumper. Well, you're going to have to make it there again. Yeah, I can do that. Pack line for the microvision when. Yeah, yes. Yes, pack line it up. Is there enough? Are there enough pixels for it, though? Uh, I don't think you could do it. Um... It's 16 by 16. Oh, gosh. You could definitely do the dots across the screen, but how would you represent a Pac-Man? You'd have to do it a ghost up above. Like, you could do a ghost below and the Pac-Man up top, and then the dots. I don't know how you'd do it. You'd have to get very creative. Only certain games really work with uh, the microvision. Um... I can get better. That's good. Oh, oh! That looked like it went through. Yeah, they sometimes look like they go through. With scrolling, you could. <gasps> there you go. And some of the uh, homebrew games that I saw had really good scrolling, like vertical, horizontal scrolling in the menus. Yeah, if you could do it with scrolling. But if you do scrolling, you can't always see where the ghost is. That's the thing. But if you do scrolling, you can make a mini map at the top of where the ghost is. Mmm. Whoa! That pushes it quick. Chaos. There is cat chaos going on there. Oh, at least it slows down after one hit of something. Then you would be. See? Oh, no, if it hits a wall? if it hits a couple of a, a wall or it hits you a couple of times, it turns back eventually. Hmm. It doesn't keep it forever. Interesting. Okay, yeah, there see, goes. It has to hit a couple bricks. Uh, yeah, you're right. A couple I think of it's bricks. Whoa! Spinner is deadly. Oh, one more. The oh, hardest come one. on! The hardest Went one. right through the edge of it. <laughs> Uh, the project is more or less completed within the initial two-week target. Every feature in the iOS version has been implemented in the Lynx version. Paranoid contains original audio sample playback and original EEPROM support. Thanks to Bastion for answering some questions about both. Code to manipulate Lynx ROM bus pins are direct interpretation of Bastion's ASM. Code to rotate the data in and out are adapted from Ben Eater's YouTube video. Oh, gosh. Uh, most recent uh, I updates are to do with the player influence of the new ball launch angle. Uh, and handling the case if the user mounts the EEPROM after getting a high score. Okay. Or perhaps just an arrow pointing the direction where the ghost is. That would work as well. You wouldn't know how far the ghost is, but that might be enough to help you understand where the ghost is. Hmm. Oh, nope. Oh, yes. One more. Nice. Yeah. What level is this? Oh, two. Two. Oh, okay. Did you pass two? No. no. 
because that one so above close. it. So close. So close. It passed through. Oh. oh. Okay. I find it a little slow moving left to right. So. Yeah. You, uh, put this back on. Okay. Kitty, are you all uh, cat nipped out? Oh, sweet kitten. Oops, sorry, sorry. Oh. oh, I lost it. I did touch it though. Yeah. Sometimes some... it goes through the tip, the edge yeah. of the. Uh... Oh, my God. Yeah. oh my God. Perhaps just an arrow pointing in the direction where the ghost is. <laughs> yeah. Uh... This is hard. Yeah, those teleporters are insane without a paddle controller. It's it is yeah. hard without a paddle controller. You you feel like you need to move a little faster too. Yeah. Like, it's a little hard to get under the ball. But you don't want it too fast because then it's hard no. to um, be accurate. Yeah, it's So true. joystick movement that emulates kind of paddle movement is, is tough. Yes, get it all. Get it. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, get over not that far. Oh, that might work. Nope, it doesn't. It's neat though. It's just gonna go down over there. It is very cool. Those are hard. Oh, no! <laughs> Definitely the corner ones are the hardest. And one, yeah. Yeah, and the then... corner ones are the hardest to get. Oh. Yes, 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 yes! No! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong angle! Ah! There! Yes! Yay! Oh, I think I lost. Good job. Oh, I have one ball left. Oh, so you have to pause to see. Yeah. Keep it, keep it on the left uh, side here. So Luke says, I've seen some Brick Breaker games that let you hold a button for accelerated movement. It helps a bit. Oh, oh damn. Good idea. Ball. Oops. Ah! ah! Playing again. Hmm? Meow. Yeah. See, if you don't move right away, you can get right to the top. But, if I can do it just on an angle. Nah, not enough. Come Close. on, get up there. Get! Nope! Okay, I'll take that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you really want to get it bouncing on the top. You really want to get the edge ones, actually. If you can manage it. Yeah, like that. There. Well, I didn't want to really break them. <gasps> no. Yes. I like the red um, uh, so do Super I. Ball. Very yeah, useful. I know, Bernie. <laughs> I know. Warning. We'll destroy the Bernie. <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay. We, right. can, we can pause. Well, let, tree ball. well, this game will be over quick, but if you can prepare the treat ball after for I after I die. Prepare it. Oh, actually, you can do the treat ball, can't you? Oh, I was thinking I it was a ballot. It is not the bell. It is not the bell. It's the treat ball. Everybody's doing everything but the bell. <laughs> That's okay. Hello. Hello, Atari Pants. Hello, sir. What would you like? Pick from the menu. Treats, please. Well, we do have a good selection of treats. Yes, we do. And they'll be served to you in a pink ball. Mm -hmm. I hope that is to your satisfaction. Is it? Is this to your satisfaction? Oh, that was oh. good. I got the one above. What? It went right through! Unfair brick! I call unfair. <laughs> it, that one went right through. There's no disputing it. You challenge okay. the logic of this game. Yes, yes! No. Hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss, I say. Hiss, hiss, I say. Uh, my or favorite. Or just Nope. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! <gasps> oh! No! No! <gasps> James! Oh, oh. Did it. All right. Woo! Okay. Treat ball. 
Okay, tree. Oh, oh my God! It starts off automatically. It does. Okay, I can't. I have to wait till. That's I die. okay. I'm treat balling it. Well, they can't see. Oh no. Okay, we have to wait. Oh, there, there we you go. go. Now <laughs> distracted. Treat ball. Okay, treat ball. let loose the treat ball. Let loose. Are you ready? And this is for pseudo graphics. Get that tree ball. Yay! Thank you, pseudo graphics. Atari is is happy. I made it to level three barely. I was very distracted though. Cats deserve to play oh, games. They do. They, he wants to play games. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, no. disaster! You didn't oh, put up the lid on. That? I did put it on. Is he clever enough to open the lid? <laughs> I think he did. Oh, kids. He's learning. That? Oh, cat. He's learning. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I got them back in, though. Oof. Disaster averted. <laughs> Here, let me, let me in. Disaster averted. <gasps> no. He's oh, like, why did you put them back in? I got them all out. <laughs> Isn't that the point? Wasn't I supposed to do that? You're a funny kid. You are supposed to do that. Nice. Too open. Oh my goodness, kitten. <laughs> Cat trouble. It is. It's getting too smart. Too smart. Come on, come on. It's ah, too easy on. when you just doing it all on your own. Oh no, got one. Okay, okay. Just a little tap over to the left. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, damn it. Yes. Oh. I like how sometimes he takes the treat away. It's like, who's coming after your treats? No one's coming after no your one. treats. No one. We don't want your treats. He's like, no. No other cats. Just in case. Might be cats somewhere. Remove it to a second location. That's right. Just so it doesn't escape. <laughs> Unexpected Mulaney. <laughs> Unexpected Mulaney. There we go. <laughs> Never go to the second location. Never go. <laughs> ah! What is it? HT Bittenbinder? Yeah, uh, RJ Bittenbinder. RJ Bittenbinder. <laughs> That's right. Street smarts. Street. <laughs> oh, two at once. Nice positioning. And then Red Letter Media played RJ. Is it RJ? The Bittenbinder tape. And I was like, oh yeah. my god! It's yeah. the tape from Mulaney! <laughs> no! No! no. Okay, one more for me. <laughs> one more for me. Uh, let's try and get the two at once. Oh. It's random the uh, angle. Oh. It's random the angle it starts at. Yeah. Sometimes it's straight. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, it's not. How's it going there, kitten? You getting them? How, Got how, them all? Are you uh, achieving a high score on the treats there? No, we don't keep track of treats, so not those ones. We tried. It was not very. James is hooked. Yes. It's it's really good. It is really it's good. It's hard. So you have to be. Uh, Arkanoid's hard too. I'm it terrible is. at Arkanoid. Oh, I'm so terrible at Arkanoid. I just way, die so quick. Way better than me. I'm not Get great up. with the paddle games. Well, it's much easier with a paddle. That's for sure. But the Lynx does not have a paddle. So what are you gonna do? Not a whole lot. Good job. Thank you. Some of this is intentional. Some, most of it is not <laughs> randomly. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. How many lives do I have? Okay. Not great. Not great at all. Oh. Last life. Not going to make it to level three. No, don't open that up yet. Madness. Madness lies within there. Madness lies that way. No. 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 Too fast when it touches that. Don't touch then it. Then it turns red and then you... Well, uh, yeah. Do you want control or do you want to get through fast? Uh, control. <laughs> it's hard enough already. Not unfairly hard, that's the thing. Like, you can anticipate where it's gonna go most of the time. Oh, oh except there. And you just have to be kind of prepared for anything. Mm. Okay, nope. Duh. It's good it hits the wall. 
and slows down most of the time. No, no, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, now go over to the right. Mm -hmm. Ah, get over there. Yep, do it again. No! Uh oh. Oh, stuck it again. It will st go down, yeah. It Good, does. it has some randomness. I think he accounted yeah. for that. I think you have to. I'm getting points. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Oh my god. No! Oh, I have oh. one more. No, no! Don't do that! Don't hit it! Yes! Oh. Yeah! I have zero lives. Oh, it's so low! It's so low. I think the cat is done with the treats. Now there's a teleporter. Okay. Oh. Well, we've been staring at our feet for a while, so... <laughs> okay. Oh, right. That's okay. Cat was there up to a moment ago. Okay, uh, we'll move on to the next game. Hey, that was fun, though. Excellent. Yes, yeah, very, Thank you, very... Brick Martin. Or... Thank you. I want to say Brick Martin, but that's Brick... okay. In this game, he's Brick Martin. Yes, exactly. On to game number three, which is... If there's anything I have to show before we play game number three, mm -hmm. uh, game number three is a bubbler. We don't need to show anything because okay. everybody's very familiar with this what this game? what oh, this is. Exciting. Uh, so there you go. If you want to load it up, I will switch over the cartridge. Uh, top one. Uh, so this is by Canada uh, FR. Oh, I will have to rotate this. Don't touch anything. <gasps> oh, cute! <gasps> Super cute. We're late! Oh, you have to translate. Hien Kwa? What does that mean? The Concool Gem Toast 2024 Meme Le Jeune N'est Pas Fini. The no, game don't isn't over it. yet. <laughs> English! Who cares? It's fun time. <laughs> it's fun time. I don't know if I'm translating that very well. Also, I'm doing it sideways. Oh, no. Yeah. They get to see it. I don't know. <sighs> That's how it is. We don't have a Tate television, so... No. <laughs> Are you going to do it that way? Yes. Okay. Ugh. No, it's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. What am I playing? Puzzle? <laughs> it's too hot. Your head's hot. Right. It's not, it's not moving anything. It's not going up and down. Left, right? No. Nope. You wrecked it. I didn't wreck it. That's weird. Hey, there a Oh, press a button. I think one is select. And oh. Uh -huh. That's okay. It's puzzle time. You don't need to turn your head for this. It it's it makes sense horizontally too. No, but it doesn't look right. <laughs> There is no sound for this, as far as I know. So this came in second in the Gem Toss 2024 competition. And the write-up says, Well, some weeks ago, Yastuna told me about a game competition for Gem Toss. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. An Atari meeting in France. The rule is simple. Code a puzzle game inspired by Candy Crush or Puzzle Bobble for any Atari system. It's awesome how this kind of competition boosts me to create a game. Not because I wanted to win. I only won twice in 20 years. One DVD player now dead and one SMS FM boost lost by the post office. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. But because deadline gives me a reason to code and focus while I'm tired, I'd like to know more about something else. The competition. Oh, it's coming down. It's okay. Oh. Uh, so bad. Oh, this is the puzzle version. Why did you do badly? Because of this weird <laughs> way I have to crane my neck to play this game. <laughs> you don't have to, though. Yes, I do. Is the external also rotated to play this game? It, it, the joystick translates fine. It's up and down. Left and right is up and down. And which but is, it's okay. Which is left, which is up and down. Yeah. It, you don't have to rotate the joystick, which. If Just you, your head. You would if, <laughs> if our screen could rotate. Ah, kidding. Oh, it wiggles. Oh, there you go. No, don't mess up. Okay, you can do this. Shush. <laughs> and now all you have to do is connect red to red and you've done puzzle one. There Yay! we go. Yay. Game over. 
Well, oh, I see. You just... Oh, can I go back? Yeah. Play level one again? No, I just wanted to see... Oh, back. So this is... No, that's not select. That's not select. Is there only puzzle right now? No, I was able to... Uh... Oh, I can't get it to move. <laughs> Maybe you were pulling on this. Maybe? Right now? Oh, now it's now it's moving. It Left oh. and right, it is. Okay. okay, it wasn't before, I don't know why. Okay, arcade? Sure. You can pick your character. Howlet, uh, dude. I'll let it is. Oh. Don't mess up, pro tip. <laughs> it is a it is a pro tip. There you go. Uh, the competition ice. So I spent the last uh, these last weeks coding for the Atari Lynx. The game was not finished but playable for D-Day, so I submitted it. Spoiler, I lost. But since I lost against Master Yastuna, it's already a victory for me. So what makes Puzzle Bubble uh, a great game? Uh, a solid gameplay, a basic match three, but shooting bubbles. Two cute characters, Bub and Bob. Um, that's the original game, not this one. Uh, a lot of games clones were already made, but a lot only focus on the bubbles. I had three characters on my itch.io library, which were waiting for the lights. Wow. I guess limelight. Uh, so when I started to design my... His, his English is better than my French. <laughs> uh, when I started to design the game, it was obvious it would be their turn. Pink, Owlet, and Dude by Craft Picks. The problems I had to solve. The Lynx is 160 by 102, but it's possible to play on portrait mode. 102 by 160 is just enough to get the number of bubbles per raw per row I needed. Coding in C for 6502 is not as easy as for Mega Drive, for example. Optimization is not really optimal. If you don't code a specific way, your code could be very slow. Since I was in a hurry, well, code is very slow. It's fine. It doesn't affect gameplay. The slowness of the movement of the, of the bubbles, which is good. Uh, only 16 colors with one reserved for transparency is a real problem with this type of game. Hey, naughty. Uh, you had 15 colors for background, UI, characters, text, special, and eight different bubbles. <laughs> you had to recycle a lot. It gives the game this tone, but some may people some people don't like it because they miss the shiny colors of Puzzle Bubble. First game, first puzzle. My entry into my entry bubbler is now available on the uh, official results page of the meeting and my itch.io page. Story could have ended there, but feedback from player and people I respect a lot were so good that I had to finish it. The new version will be published publish soon. A lot of slowdown fixed is done. Real puzzles, not placeholders, done. More fun on arcade mode. Uh, auto shoot done. And calm links will come later this year. So you'll be able to play two, mm -hmm. one person against another person using two different linkses. Uh oh, it's getting lower. It continually gets low. I think the puzzle's better because this is just, ah, uh, they just keep coming. They never stop. What you can do is attach the gray. Oh, I to, know, to the oh, top okay. of another one, yeah. Yeah. Because I think you might have to clear mm -hmm. everything to get rid of that. Uh, or maybe uh, it's it, just it, play it, till... It, they, keep, they keep coming. Do they? Mm -hmm. nope. Oh, no. Darn it. Like, like nothing, did, nothing stops the oh, did colors you clear from it coming back. At one point? Not completely. Oh, well, you don't know then. I don't, don't know. know. I, I assume arcade is you keep playing for, for points and you probably... Play as fast as you can. I don't know. It's just points. It looks of things. Bounce it off the wall. Does your no. consoleized link support connecting to another link? It should. That wasn't disconnected. So how we would do that on the stream is beyond me. Because <laughs> I would have to have so much redundant equipment. I mean, I have multiple um, video capture devices. So I could capture a second link. I don't have a second link. I have a second upscaler. 
So I could do that. Oh. Like, like they don't, they never disappear. So mm. they just keep coming. Um, no. Nope. Game so over. So yeah, I, I could put them side by Cute. side on the screen. So it is possible. Okay, my turn. Okay. Without doing what James said, you'll run out of space. Well, uh, you never lose your ball, the colors though. If you clear them, like when you play Bubble Bobble, when you clear all color, they never come back. This just mm. goes continuously. Should we do puzzle? Oh yeah, puzzle was fun. I did one. Okay. Do you, you can do two. Okay. There we go. That should clear all the black and get rid of those middles. And then I just need to make sure I, I get. No! <gasps> How did Wrong you do angle. that? angle. I know, because you're doing it sideways. I don't know it what that. Kind of messes you up. Oh no! <sighs> You'll get there. Oh no! Well, that's fine. As long as I get these, connect these. Oh my god! You can get that one. I'm gonna bounce it. That's just annoying. No. Nope. Oh my god! Yeah. Terrible angles. I'm going to blame the aspect ratio or something. Anything I can find. Yay! Yay! You have an analog pocket. That's true. And that is HDMI out. And then I would just capture from HDMI. Mm. But I cancelled my... <laughs> I, what does it have built in? It has Game Boy built in. I cancelled my Lynx order. Because I was like, I don't really feel like spending $200 on these adapters anymore. Oh, no. Because I didn't have the links yeah. when I placed the order. Yeah. And then I got the links. And, and then they, thought, oh, I don't then they said, hey, you still want your order? I'm like, mm, not really. <laughs> yeah, puzzle bubble. Puzzle yes. bubble. Oh, this looks like just one shot. Okay. <laughs> That's a gimme. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess that level up. Uh, oh, I, is this not finished? I don't think this is finished. This is not finished. <laughs> okay, we're going to play the arcade again. All right, fair enough. Or the other, what was the last one? Uh, that's not done. That's the head-to-head, -head, the multi. Mm. So it just... Désolé. Pas prêt. Pas prêt. What does that mean? Sorry, not ready. Ah. I thought it was sad. Sadness. Désolé. Yeah. So sad. <laughs> Arcade. I want to be pink. Okay. So we're going to try and clear it. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Now, if I put that beside it. Oh, the angles. Okay, I did it. And then I put that at the end. No, no. Damn it! The angles are messing me up. I put that. No. Oh well. You go there then. You go there. Oh no, now I can't put the gray in there. Oh, this is terrible. I'm doing terrible. Oh no, now it's coming down. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Terrible. Yay! Is that, Ooh, it? Is that rainbow anything? ball? Oh, I Is gotta that a get this. Ball? I gotta get this. Okay. See, it keeps going. Oh, okay. It's not a puzzle. You just keep you just playing for points. Play yeah. as for many points as you can. Yeah. Okay. Purple, please. Purple. <gasps> what are you doing? Purple it up. Purple it up. Bloop, bloop. Boom. Yeah. yeah, it just keeps coming down. I never got a rainbow one. No. No, I, I was very unlucky. Hmm. Maybe it just comes when you have a bunch of colors on top of each other and it just feels oh. bad for you. It's like, oh, <laughs> the game's you, feeling bad are, for me. Why are, you, why are you so sucky at this game? Why Here's a rainbow so bubble for you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> gonna See, you're going to get a rainbow bubble there you go i didn't need a rainbow bubble oh yeah <laughs> then you, you get do get a lot of points, points. yeah that's very true so play badly till you get a rainbow is, <laughs> maybe. That, the, is that the tactic maybe here? is that what your tactic is going to be from now on it is play badly play just badly. stack it up stack it up till i get a rainbow it's there's coming. my rainbow oh. 
but I have to do. <gasps> no, no, I'm no. in trouble. I'm gonna have to goo those black ones. <gasps> oh no! What are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was bad at this game. Oh no! Oh no! Get the purples. Oh, <gasps> good job. Not really, but yes. The puzzle bobble music is now in my head. It's not quite the earworm that bubble bobble is, but it's still dun, sticky. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it's. I'm gonna blame the angle. Uh, the uh, sidewaysness of it all. This is one of those Tanya games. Is it a Tanya game? It is. I, I like you're bubble. Doing you're doing better than me. Puzzle bobble. Um, I he James, you really like this game. I do. You know, uh, this is the kind of game really. you see it on a mini console it. at an arcade, and yes. suddenly thirty minutes have passed, and all you played is oh, is uh, puzzle bobble for like an hour. Or so, yep. They are. It is a fun game. It's a fun game. Yeah. And I think anyone, game. regardless of age, can play it and understand it. Like, you can have a toddler yes. play this game. It yeah. is so easy to play. Match the bubbles. And it's so cute. I think it's just such a fantastic game. <gasps> so close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it's no Yammo on the Moon, though. That's all I'm going to say. Yammo on the Moon. <laughs> Yammo on the Moon. Okay, get in there. No. Of course not. It's cute, though. Yay! Oh my god. Okay, come on. Get. Yay! Okay, let's try and get good. that gray over here. Bank that shot. I have to wait till they're done. Stop wiggling. Or no, is it, it waiting for me to. It's waiting for you to shoot. No, it's fine. Oh. I am so dead. No, you're not. I have to get. Yeah, I'm almost. Bank it. <gasps> oh no! The that angles was are... terrible. Angles! The <laughs> angles! I swear they're not right. Oh. oh yeah. That helps. That helps. Nice. Oh, that helps. Okay. He's... Get the rats. Oh. Oh. oh, Nostalgic says, anytime I see a Neo Geo arcade cabinet, this, <laughs> this is all I'd play on it. Yeah. This is what you pick for Neo Geo? Oh. Arcade it's... cabinet. Yeah. Cabinet. For yeah. me, it's it's always um, Metal Slug. Yes, I was going to say Metal Slug. Always. You love the Metal Slug. It's but not if game. I'm using quarters. <laughs> That yes. is not Metal Slug. No. Maybe it's this. Because <laughs> I will just die, die, die on Metal Slug. It's like, I would, I would like some more quarters, please. Nom, 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 nom. Ah! Oh, no! Okay. Oh, no. Oh, game over. That was it's very cute. It's very cute. Very good I know it's not a complete, complete not game yet, yet but but uh, it so sounds cute. like uh, they're going to be very close to being done mm. when they release the next nice. version of it. Nice, nice. Um, nice. Now he doesn't say whether it's going to be on cartridge or not, um, but maybe, maybe. Okay, we're on to our last game. And we've lost a cat. We've lost no cat's by the door. Is he? Oh, good. Exciting for me. If anyone feels like doing puss and bats. Now's a good time. Now's a good time. Before if not, that's fine. Before we last game. Okay. Wait one second. Please wait. Please hold. Actually, I'm going to just leave it in Tate mode. Uh, next one is Paratroopers, which is not Tate mode. Do not load it yet. Okay. I need to fix the rotation. Nostalgic says, we've never played Metal Slug, but we're getting Metal Slug Tactics. Does that make us weird? I don't know what Metal Slug Tactics is. Is that a, is a different game? Oh, what did I... I saw that recently. What was that? Um, I can't remember what Metal Slug Tactics is. Hmm. So this is Paratroopers by James Higgs, known as J-U-M on the Atari Age forums. Uh, this build is from yesterday oh the power noid for us from today just mm -hmm. uploaded it's 11k it is just the beginnings of a game okay so there's not Early. everything there i don't think you can um shoot die yet oh die you oh i shoot. like games like that <laughs> <laughs> you can shoot you can get points yeah everything's there except the death the death okay can i press go nope, nope. because okay. there is a video to show oh. first of where this this game is a port of another game. New tactical RPG. Oh, that's what it was. Nice. Yes. I Now I remember, yeah, seeing the RPG overhead view of mm -hmm. Metal Slug. 
And I was like, mm, I like Metal Slug, but this is not Metal Slug. It's no, very different. Something it's, different. It's using the characters of Metal Slug in a tactical game. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Like, like uh, Puzzle Bubble, Bubble Bubble Bubble. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so this is based off of a game that was made on the Apple II in 1981. And I remember playing this game. Oh, do you? Yes. On the Apple II. Uh, there we go. Object of sabotage is to score as many points as possible before the enemy destroys your gun. Emplacement. Your gun may be destroyed either by a hit from an enemy bomb. There's none of those. Or by sabotage when enough paratroopers have yeah, reached the ground, that. which doesn't mm. happen either in the one we're going to play. The gun may be controlled with a paddle or the keyboard. In this case, a joystick. joystick. If you're using the keyboard, pressing D will move the gun counterclockwise and F will move it clockwise. We're just using a joystick. Any other key will fire a shell. Firing a shell costs one point. Mm. I don't think that's implemented, but we'll see. Oh, the Apple II sounds. Why does it come through the microphone input? Interesting. Mm. Something about that sound? Uh oh. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, you're the person at the bottom. You lose points by shooting, you gain points by hitting things. Oh, that's the thing I really remember is you shoot the parachute and the man drops to the floor and splats. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's carried over for this version. Oh, 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 oh. I just want to show you one, one more time. I'm shooting the parachute. And there's also a tower defense metal slug. For some reason, the IT is getting some attention. Beer Pocock. And that is when it crosses there. into crimes against humanity. <laughs> yes. Humanity territory. Oh, watch, watch. There. Oh, my gosh. Splat. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's <laughs> traumatizing. I, well, I, sort of, but still. Like, I probably have not played this since, like, early 80s. Oh, wow. On the Apple. In, because I didn't have an Apple, but we played these games at school because they had all apples. That's so crazy. Uh, I love okay. little things like that in old games. You're just like, oh, my God. Because it's traumatizing. <laughs> it's As like, it seems like such a simple nine game. Nine-year-old kid or whatever. And then someone's head explodes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a quote. Um... <laughs> So it was also remade as Commando Raid on the Atari 2600, gotcha. MAD on the 2600, um, Paratrooper on the PC. No, they just they just disappeared. Do they? There's so many of them coming down. Oh, sound. Yep. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot coming splat. down. There. there are no splats. No though. splats. They definitely need to introduce the splats. So the graphics are a lot better, obviously, than the Apple II. Uh, there is no dying. Oh, you do lose uh, a point for every shot. But there's so many coming down that it's not even a uh, problem. And you get five. Five for every... Oh, you can. You can kill the... Yeah, so you really do need to keep on top of them so, to keep up with the paratroopers. You need to watch three Rambo movies before playing. And Nostalgic remembers this on his uh, friend's Apple II. It's, it's a lot. The sounds on the Apple II are so distinct. The built-in uh, speaker on it. Because it, it could only make... Oh, he didn't even deploy his parachute before he shot him. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Didn't even have a chance. Um, so... In the forums, uh, the developer says, I've been learning 6502, Lynx Assembler, programming while writing the attached sim simple game project work in progress using a Lynx S Assembler. Uh, it's been more fun and less painful than I thought. It might be some use to those just starting or thinking about starting Lynx Assembler programming. I would also appreciate some feedback from experienced 6502 ASM programmers on what I've been doing wrong or badly. Our suggestions for improving the code. The runnable para.o para is in the zip. So he's included his graphics and um, assembly code for the game. So you can um, 
and check Ooh. out I the programming. Wrap the score around. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't die. Did, it, die, did so. it go to nine 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 or two five five? I can't remember. Oh. Probably two five five. Yeah, because it seems like it would take a while to go to nine nine. Oh yeah, a lot longer than I've been playing for. Could you just shoot to the left and to the right and avoid them to reach the floor? I'm guessing he's talking about like strafing. I bet you could. Like that. But they're also on the right, so that wouldn't yeah, quite work. Yeah, you can't do work. both sides at the same time. But yeah, you could tap, you could completely protect a side at a time. And I bet with a mouse, if you're just going vip, 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 you could easily do it. And not shooting the helicopters actually gives you more points to shoot the paratroopers. But when he implements the full game, that is not a good tactic. You really do need to shoot those helicopters. Well, you need to stop the paratroopers from coming down. Because it doesn't say in my notes how many Each need one. to hit the floor before they start attacking you. I assume they run across the like, ground. Yeah, they Do probably they? build up on each side. It would be cool or... if they ran across the ground towards you, and then you would have to shoot <laughs> them on <laughs> the ground. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you can. No. It's just like a no, build. but that would be cool. That would be. I think it's just like a build up. Then they can explode on the ground. <laughs> in, in, in that way, it's this is kind of like a reverse Puyan. I think Puyan probably got the idea from this game. Because in Puyan, the wolves uh, ride balloons up. You have to shoot the balloons as they... Oh, no, they come down. You shoot the balloons as they come down. So very similar. And then the wolves slowly accumulate and stick their faces out and try and push you off your little um, pulley system. Kind of elevator pulley system on the side where you move up and down. I am very sure Puyan, the makers of Puyan saw this game. And... Uh, and got some inspiration from it. Not that 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 this is that like super again? unique. I, so I want to see if the number rolls over at two five five or. I bet it's two five five because it would have taken you a long time to get to nine ninety nine, especially since you're on auto fire. <laughs> well, I'm not on auto fire, but getting close. Oh, so close. Almost. Wasting all your bullets. <laughs> Trying to get the big guys. Oh, oh, five more. Oh, yep, there it is, wrapped around exactly nice. to zero. Just keeps going. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. I think they've, uh, it's a good implementation of the yeah. characters. It's very colorful. It is. There's some shading on the parachutes just on the edge. Mm -hmm. Helicopters look good. Your base looks good. The, it's the just missing are good. the exploding blood. That's all I'm Oh, just that saying. has to be implemented. <laughs> where you shoot just the parachute. Does this not have a game over yet? No, because no. you can't die. It's just uh, early it's just an early work in progress. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got I do the sounds. you know what? I think it's great how the paratroopers drop out of the ship. Like quickly. Um, and then the parachute the, the parachute deploys. Yep. That's a fantastic little little animation. And as the levels increase, you could actually get them to drop further down. Oh, so they move faster. Move faster before yeah. they deploy their parachutes. Oh, poor guys. <laughs> Shot out of the sky. And in the real game, I think there's... Oh. Oh, oh no, nope, just a break. I don't know what that was. Refuel, refuel. Refuel, back to base. No, it's a very good start. I mean, really, just it needs to implement... Hello, Chelsea on him out. Accumulation of paratroopers at the bottom. Like they just need to land and stand there and then move towards you. Can't quite do like a 180 strafe because the bullets don't come out fast enough. Oh, I wrapped around. All there right. we go. Uh, oh, did you block? No, no, it was what fine. Is that? It was fine. Oh, it just I see. it flagged something that was not yeah, an issue. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um what is this? Uh what who is Polygox answering? Toka. Toka, can you shoot the left and the right? He could, but see, seemingly shooting black empty spaces for uh, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, great start to the game. Yes. Very, very cool. I used the PC uh, graphics for the cartridge. But that was called just paratrooper. Yeah. This is called paratroopers. Tribe. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So good stuff. That that looks like it would be. Uh, oh, you flipped over. Yep. I was gonna say them all falling just reminded me of like a really good um, screensaver. A screensaver. It yeah. could be a screensaver. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. Um, let's see. So, uh, next show, we're going to be playing some 7800 games. We have the exclusive work in progress update of Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Mm -hmm. Bernie will be emerging from his holding place up there and sitting on the 7800 while we play. And we're also going to be playing Super Pro Racers, nice. a car racing game. Nice. Uh, then next Tuesday... <gasps> is the developer spotlight on Steve Engelhart, Yay! Atarius Maximus, plus the unveiling of his new secret homebrew Yay! for the 7800. That's going to be exciting. Um, by then, we'll probably have the retail box version of Tony. So we'll be playing that uh, with Erlen the Friday after this one. Yeah. And also Galagish. Oh. And then any other Atari 8-bit ah, okay. games that may games. pop up. Nice. Um, and then we have an exclusive work in progress update of Stellar Drive Mars on the 16th. 7800 day three on June seems <laughs> aggressive. Oops. Yeah, we have to go back in time. Uh, so we'll fit that in somewhere. Yeah. Maybe this coming weekend. Maybe this coming weekend. Yeah. That might be I a good time to do time. it. And, uh, this developer spotlight on Lawrence Stavely Yay. is getting put into place. It's either going to be at the end of, of July, July or the beginning of August. Nice. Just have to pick a specific date and probably by next show I'll know the date for that. Mm. Um, and then uh, obviously coming up some more. So uh, waiting on Champ Games. Champ Games. He hasn't reached out but maybe I'll ping him. So, yep. Hey, how's hey. it going? Uh, exclusive world premiere of his secret new homebrew. Nice. What could it be? Nice. And a video interview with John about his new game. Nice. And a developer spotlight uh, with Chris Walton. So, uh, maybe when is PRGE coming up? October or late uh, late September actually. Late September. Retro. Late September. Late September, yeah. Because I've already booked the time off at work. Okay, September twenty. <laughs> I have to late do September. such things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I would like to get that one in before uh, PRG. So that gives. Uh, we'll maybe have to do it in September so mm -hmm. we have a bunch of stuff coming up in the next little bit but very exciting any more hints oh, he hasn't given me any hints it's secret to me not secret to you it's secret <laughs> to everyone, <laughs> everyone. except well, I'm guessing Nathan Strom, yeah, Nathan Strom yes. and uh, John <laughs> Champo so yeah. no hints whatsoever um, he usually does arcade ports that's it. <laughs> that's, the, that's all the hints. And it's for the 2600. So it has to be possible on the 2600. Yeah. But he always makes the impossible possible. So that's not really a hint. Um, that might be on Atarius Maximus too. Is that a secret homebrew? Yeah, it is. That Oh, that one is. Oh, uh, I'm not going to give any more hints. I already gave a hint and I can't remember what it was. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah. I don't want to give any more. So okay. just look back at other shows and yeah. Outrun. That, well, he's already done. I doubt he'd want to do another... A racing game after Turbo, mm. but you might be like, "Well, let's reuse more racing games. Reuse some of the engine. Yeah, it works really well. Outrun <laughs> yeah, for the twenty six hundred with an awesome soundtrack. Oh, that would be so good, <laughs> and it would work really well with that game engine. Mm. Um, but hey, never know. Darn that need to work. If only we get paid to take care of our cats. Yeah, no oh, kidding. you can if you run like a cat. Um, care place cat sanctuary cat uh, i don't know i don't think they make much money <laughs> should we open up a cat sanctuary oh i would love a billion kittens how about you we'll get we'll rent a place nearby here, very stinky you'd have to clean it on the hour <laughs> oh my goodness on the hour half hour uh, what you could do is have a big you, you could have the automated ones that would work it would get full you'd be cleaning those no, out automated. Very quickly. every half hour it cleans itself 
Yeah, but you'd have to still take oh, it out. Oh, just dump it. Yeah. Every mm. two hours. It'd be crazy. Or you can make like a big sandbox where they all go in just one big box. And then the whole big and box is a, automated. And then I just don't know. have a sieve and just dump it yeah, out. Gross. I don't know. There must be a. Oh, I can't imagine. I can't I imagine. I bet there's like some super crazy multi cat litter box i'm thing. sure some rich Somebody's... person somewhere with a bunch of cats has figured <laughs> something out yes yeah but uh yeah i wish we could just stay home and take care of cats i consider that retirement that is retirement that that's is our retirement. retirement i thought you were referring to <laughs> automaton, automaton cats. cats no <gasps> cat hotel hotel marmia oh there are mad ones that hook up to city sewer <gasps> really what nice oh be our like flushable up. yeah they auto flush Oh, that's like that, that's say. in the future. Yeah. Hey, Atari. Okay, we have to do the cat. A cat trip. hotel. Hotel oh. Marmeow. Is there a place? Such a place? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Muddy Vision's having sale on his games. Oh, nice. oh excellent. Excellent. Um, and there's another sale going on as well. Um, it was for... Let me... <laughs> The name. Excuse my yawning. Long day. Yastuna, I think, is having a sale as well mm. on their games. Um, and I swear there was some other sale on um, Champ Games? On one specific Champ Game? Mm. I think. I can't remember. Oh, and the Atari 400 Mini is on sale on Amazon. Oh, there, there you go. go. Lots of sales. Yeah. <laughs> it's the summer sale summer season. Summer sale, yeah. <laughs> Steam's on sale. And Amazon's having its Prime Days soon. They know and... the kids are uh, out of school, and uh, now's the time to dive into I video so. games. I guess so. No one has money now, though, so... <laughs> Did you play more video games in the summer? Or, um... or did you go outside more because it was nicer? I remember and play a video games in the winter. Particular summer, where I was feeling quite housebound, and yeah. I—that's when I played Impossible Mission and completed it three times. That's when I learned <laughs> that game. It's Impossible Mission summer. Impossible Mission, and yeah, and number two as well. And I'm positive that was through the summer. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go outside for some reason that summer. There was one um, summer. Watch that cat. He's hey, oh, you stay away from that. We just bought that. That's new. <laughs> He's like, what so, did I do? Where my parents were building a new house. Yeah. And we moved to a city that was too far for me to bike to see any of my friends. And oh, this no. before I had a car. Yeah. So I'd spent the whole summer in that house. Yeah. Not seeing any friends. Oh, that's sad. Unless my parents drove me in oh, to, no. for the day or whatever. You were renting somewhere then. So I played all my video games. Just all of my Commodore 64 games. <laughs> Amazon's 4th of July democracy, democracy closeout, closeout sale. Oh, no. I salute uh, you, America. Good, uh, yeah. good luck this year. Yeah, good luck. Um, <laughs> oh, we did pull it out. Might want to push it back in. Oh. You are a bad cat. Yes, you are. Um... Yeah, we're having election yeah, coming up Yeah, for me, wintertime is indoor time. Lots of hobbies and video games. Summer's I... all outside. I mean, it's hot inside now, so it's, you, you may want to go outside more, but it's also hot outside. So it's like, ugh. We're going to get up to almost yeah. 30 this week. Yeah, we are. Well, I'm hot. trying to think, because growing up in... Cat, please stop it. No. Oh, somebody's got to trigger the treat time. <laughs> Before we treat go... Treat bell. Because I, I rejigged it. I have the timer on the screen and I yeah. did, redid the graphics. I don't know. I, if I had my phone, I would trigger <laughs> it. So. I'll yeah. have to trigger it myself. You can trigger it. It's okay. treat time. Yep. It's <gasps> Thank hey, you, Chelsea Chelsea Mo. Mo. Thank you for using up your treat time. Yay. Bits. 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 Okay, start the prediction. All and right. James wants to show it off. Yes. Time for some betting. There we go. Proper screen. Oh, Chalstoni Mal has plenty of points. points. Has plenty of points? Oh, good. Now let's get the timer up. Screen. There we go. And why isn't it on the screen? I don't know. You're on a web page. Oh, probably because it's not focused on it and I just need to treat timer 
Ja. Right font size. Does it work? I still don't see it on what there. What the hell? I got it working. After all that. How's it working? Oh. Why is that showing on that screen? Oh, you know why? I know why. Okay. It's supposed to be over here. That's why. Because it's on the wrong screen. There we go. Woo! Yay. Okay. So, two minutes, still two some minutes time to clock. predict. Yeah. How is it looking? And you can actually see the timer on yeah, the screen. Yeah, you can and see all the options. All right, so oh, one to five high, one six to, five to high. seven, eight to nine, ten, eleven. Another another bump. I think that and, might be uh, a safe 12 bet. Twelve plus. Because he has had some treats. He's had some catnip. Oh, look at him! Oh, he's so excited. Oh, he's so excited. Um, we've got about uh, twenty seconds left. Treats. Puss and yes. bats on the counter. Yes. Oh, Render ghost. I like the new that. graphics. Zero page home for Puss and bats. Oh. <laughs> And I readjusted it so you can see all the bets now. Okay. On okay. the screen. Yeah, thanks, Dan. I know where who who coined the puss and bets. So yes, there you that's go. That's right. <laughs> okay. So it is time to start. The clock is okay. soon as he The first ding. The first ding. So he always gets one. Oh, this is a different different bell. Oh, where's the other? This one. You have to use the pink. You have okay. to keep it consistent. All right. I've got lots of treats in my hand here. This is where he leaves the room and we all lose. Oh, you have to shut the door. No, he doesn't He doesn't leave the room. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No competition now, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready, cat? On your mark. Get set. Go. First one. Oh, sorry. There. I have to move it away from the bit. Oh, I heard that. No, go. he didn't. There, there we go. He hit the side of it with his claw. So that now was you can see him. the one. timer on the screen. One. Oh, yeah. One. There we go. He's off. Harder? Harder. Harder. Harder, kitten. Harder. There, there we go, we too. Go. I should trademark that. There you go. We have to look <laughs> it up first. I bet somebody has done it. It seems like a, well, maybe not. It's very specific, isn't it? Well, you're oh, being slow. Very slow this, today. Is this a catnip? As uh... I, and he's already had treats. That's what, kitten. come on. There we, there we go. go. That's three. three. Ooh, minute 20. He's going to make it past five. You're very slow today, Atari. He should be able to make it past five. Come on. Ring that bell. Ring the bell. The dude. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> there you <Four>. go. <laughs> Still got a minute, so it's okay. Oh, my cat. <laughs> so slow. <laughs> Why are you so slow? Was do harder means I'm a binary there cat go. Five. Five. He's still in the first tier of betting. <laughs> Come on, cat. Oh, you got to get out of that first tier. There you go. Yay. That's Ow. faster. Six. Don't have socks to protect me from the vicious claws. It's <laughs> in the second tier. 25%. Come on, cat. 25% of the bets are in play now. He's wandering very slowly back to it. Come on. Get. Ring it. There you go. Seven. Seven. Are you going to make it to the smallest bet of 6%? You have 20 seconds to ring it once more. And those people win. There we go. Oh, seven. We're into the rare. Oh, oh he's to. lost it. Oh, he's way under the. <laughs> Don't pull out any cables. Oh, Tar no. Oh, oh, he oh. got it. He's got it. Did he's... he? <laughs> no. Nope. Two. One. One. Zero. Oh, cat. What did you get? Eight is all I ask for. <laughs> eight is all I ask. Well, eight. you got eight. Good there kitty. Go. Woohoo, says Brown Seven. Congratulate. Let's see who won. I'm guessing Pro Seven. He's like, isn't there more? Don't and Rod Castler. Oh, Woohoo. <laughs> okay, eight to nine. Good kitty. Oh, it just repeats. Ignore the countdown clock. Okay. Robin. Who got it? Rod Castler and two others. Oh, nice. Oh, On low, very low bets. Low they bets. split the pot. Good yep. job. Congratulations, Rod Castler. <laughs> All the cat points. All the points. Nice. Rod, <laughs> Dan, 
Prow 7. Excellent. Go. Good job, guys. Oh, it does show it. It does. Here. Oh. Yeah, what people predicted. If they if they chat. It shows if they chat. Is that shows after? Or it's it shows up while they're betting during oh, the prediction. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. You didn't realize that? No. For all these years and you didn't realize the prediction. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. the first time I win at anything. Oh ever. Rod. <laughs> you did it. Uh, okay. So, good job. There we go. So um actually can't uh, going back to the microvision, they're not selling the screen right now. Oh no. He stopped the sales like a week ago. Oh on no. The screen. So I'm like, <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh. But he, he only shut it down for a bit. Okay. And then he's going to bring back the store. Okay. So Fair I've, enough. Fair I have enough. a watch on it. Do you? Yes. Yeah. You just have to message him. So, uh... <laughs> Can I get a screen? Whenever you bring it back up. No, he's going to post. Because some people are asking for it in okay. the thread on the Atari age. Okay, nice. Well, we love you watching the show, Yay. too, Rod Kastler. <laughs> Um, so thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll be back on Friday, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Roy Kassler, Dan, ABC, Chitlet La. Uh, yeah, this is the only place I occasionally feel like a winner, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, Prow 7. Oh, my God. Clear that. Clear um, uh, Nostalgic, Polygox, Rendered Ghost, Vitoko, uh, BR Just Pocock, uh, Pseudo Graphics, Gamma Dev. It's Kev. Uh, it's Kev. Nostalgic. Probably said that name. Uh, Cappy Man 2D, I saw. Oh, yeah. Zombie Alice. Zombie Alice. Dan ABC, Ivory Tower Collections. Miss Command. Yay. Who else? Who else? Who else? I think that's it. Yay. Thank you for tuning in for our Lynx show. And uh, yeah, we're back on Friday with Darcy. Darcy, I believe. I think it's Darcy. I think you'll it have to is. check I'll with him. I'll have to him. check. Yeah. Actually, let me let me check right now, just so I know. Just for my sake. Calendar. Uh, this Friday, zero page. Yeah, it's Darcy. Yep, that Excellent. is correct. Uh, yeah, take it easy. Uh, yes. Keep cool out there. Yes. Um, and if you're in uh, Texas, watch out for uh, uh, tornadoes. Oh, and, yeah. Not tornadoes. Is uh, there a hurricane hurricanes. coming through? Yeah, it's at and a category hit, four right now. I, it hasn't it hit Jamaica. Gonna, and then almost. It's, no, I, I heard there were some deaths. Jamaica. It, it, they've already it's hit. It's coming to Jamaica. I think it's hit them already. Oh, wow. Yeah. But once it gets to Texas, it's going to be a non-category yeah but yeah still tornado season yeah. is over. hurricane season hurricane season hurricane has started up yeah good okay. luck every stay safe back everyone up to out cap there. five i'll have to check yeah okay uh thanks and have a great week and yes. we'll see you on friday yes bye everyone bye bye, -bye.